I'm Priscilla Lombardi, and here's some of what made news this year for Norwalk's government. The ongoing debate over adding a driving range to Oak Hills Park had some major developments in 2013. In March, the Oak Hills Park Authority unanimously voted to issue a request for proposal for driving range options. And in December, the authority heard a presentation of a plan for the range from Total Driving Range Solutions. All of this will be within this design to uh, facilitate proper, um, proper golf um, you know, that's on the golf course with our traffic that's coming into the driving range, with the traffic for the restaurant walkers. We'd love to light up this promenade, you know, maybe put some beautiful trees that are lit at night, make it look like something special, like everything's integrated together. Norwalk's third taxing district celebrated 100 years of keeping the lights on at Calf Pasture Beach. The third taxing district was formed in 1913 when the city of Norwalk was consolidated. It is now a municipal electric utility that powers 4,000 customers in East Norwalk and is also governed by a board of commissioners elected by residents. If you have a problem uh, you're, and you need to call TTD, you're not calling some other state or some other country. You're calling people who probably live in Norwalk and who work right down on East Norwalk. It's probably the most local form of government. They, they literally have town hall meetings for their electors once a year. They provide electricity and library services. In August, Norwalk Common Council unanimously adopted the city's first ever blight ordinance to target some of the city's most unattractive buildings. Starting January 1st, Norwalk will be able to issue blight citations to residents. Blight can be boarded windows, rotting walls, or banded cars. The complaints I get from constituents repeatedly are about commercial properties. I think there's a lot of commercial properties throughout the city that needs to be looked at and taken care of. That's some of what made news for Norwalk's government in 2013. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the new year.